Good evening YouTube. Today I'm going to do a tabletop review on the uh, Glock 43 and kind of explain why it's my uh, current uh, favorite carry option. And I brought some other options on the table. Uh, I think they're all excellent, but uh, if I had to pick one, it's going to be the uh, Glock 43. Okay, for starters, um, once I got out of California, I had the opportunity of uh, picking up uh, one of these 43s uh, in the state of Alaska, which is great. Uh, they don't have the 10-day uh, waiting period, and you can actually go in and pick it up uh, right there on the spot after you do your uh, background check. And so when I got the opportunity, I uh, purchased this little guy, and uh, you know what? Um, I thought I was uh, pretty satisfied uh, with the... Uh, Smith & Wesson M&P Shield. This has been my uh, uh, carry firearm for a very long time. And uh, you know what? I, I think uh, this one kind of takes the cake and I, I find myself carrying it a lot more often than I do uh, the shield. So let's uh, get down to it. Uh, for starters, um, this gun has been super accurate, extremely reliable. I haven't had any uh, functions and I've mostly been shooting a uh, blazer brass and then uh, some federal just some of the uh, cheap aluminum stuff I can get at a uh, Walmart for like 11 bucks a box 11 bucks a box and the blazer brass is about mm, I don't know I think I got it for like $10 or something on sale which I thought was a pretty good deal but anyways um, I'll uh, have some range footage uh, later on but uh, today I just want to do a tabletop. Uh, the weather's pretty horrible outside right now. It's snowing here in Alaska, so it's kind of uh, makes it really difficult to uh, get to the range, even with uh, four-wheel drive and studs. <laughs> but uh, anyways, this guy right here, uh, oh my goodness, it is. I think for me, it's it's kind of the the perfect size. It is a, a single stack, and. You can really uh, get a good purchase on it despite it being uh, so tiny. And I picked up this holster for it. Uh, let me get, sorry. This guy right here says uh, CYA. I think it means uh, cover your ass. And anyways, I got it off of Amazon. It wasn't very expensive at all. I think maybe, you know, $35 at the most. And it's a nice little uh, Tidex holster. And you know, fits my back pocket. And you know what? It really kind of disappears. You can either uh, carry it uh, basically um, appendix style, or oftentimes I'll just carry it, uh, you know, right above my uh, my back pocket. And uh, you know what? That seems to be the most comfortable. And I really, if if I'm driving around, I, I don't even notice it. This thing is so tiny. Which is kind of interesting, um, you know, it's very similar in size to the shield. Let me put these two on camera so you can see them. Very similar. And I do have, um, what, the seven round mag uh, for, for the shield. This one's an eight round. I'm not sure where I put it, but usually if I'm carrying, I just carry the 8-round, because it's still pretty comfortable, even with the 8-round. But, if you look at both of these options, I mean, they're, they're pretty similar. They're pretty similar in size. But I just get the feeling that, um, I don't know, this one feels just a, a little more narrower, and, yeah, it looks that way too. The clock is just a little more narrow uh, than the shield, but I mean, they're pretty close. I mean, kind of splitting hairs. Both are very similar. And what I do like is, I do like the grip on the uh, 43, even though it is uh, smaller than the shield. And you do have a lower capacity. Like this one uh, ships with uh, one uh, six round, one seven round magazine. Uh, whereas the uh, the shield, uh, when I purchased it, it came with uh, a 7 and 8 round. So you do lose one round uh, with the uh, Glock 43. 
Um, however, I think where you kind of make up is uh, portability. And man, this thing is just the best uh, carry weapon that uh, I've ever had. I mean, to be perfectly honest. Uh, and before this one, uh, my all-time favorite was definitely uh, the m and uh, 9 Shield, which I still think is a great option. Um, what, what I do like about the uh, m and 9 is that I do have an external safety should I choose to use it. And uh, it does have the uh, loaded chamber indicator, which is kind of nice. But I mean, this feature, I can kind of take it or leave it. Now, the m and does have better sights. I don't know if you guys can see that uh, sight picture, a uh, three dot, and uh, I think the sighting picture on the MMPs is excellent. Glocks, it's okay. I'm not really a big fan, but what I will tell you was that I picked this guy up for $3.99 with the uh, blue label uh, discount, so not a bad deal. And <clears throat> The place that I purchased it from gave me like an extra 5% off uh, that price as well. So I think, you know, anything under $400 for an excellent uh, carry gun, I think that's a great price. You know, I don't think you're going to go wrong. Um, I think you can pay a lot more uh, for a lot worse options. But, I mean, to me, I, I think this gun is excellent. And also, if you have, um, you know, a spouse that has a hard time, uh, racking the slide or uh, shooting a, a larger uh, firearm. I, I think this is kind of a, a good route to go, the Glock 43. Now, I did uh, bring to the table, this is my uh, my wife's uh, carry gun, and this is what she likes. It's a, it's a Ruger uh, LC9S, and I have both uh, magazines, the one with the extended uh, grip on it and then one that fits flush. And uh, this is also a really excellent uh, carry option. And let's see, the holster that I got for her, I, I believe this one's a, a Concealment Express uh, holster. Got this off of Amazon. It's like, you know, 30 bucks. But the one thing that, that I do really like about the uh, LC9S uh, compared uh, to the Glock 43 is I think for a lot of women shooters, I think they may prefer the grip. I know that my wife does. Just it, it feels really good to the hand. It's a little more uh, contoured, I would say, and the trigger is excellent on the uh, LC9. Um, also, I, I do like the sights. I do prefer uh, the three dot sights than, than the original Glock sights, and. I do like the uh, external safety uh, option, especially for uh, my wife, just because she, she is a new shooter, so, you know, she likes that feature as well. And anyways, this is her first uh, handgun ever, the uh, LC9, um, but, you know, I think it's a great option too. Um, I, I, I think all of these are, that are on the table right now. You got the uh, Glock 43, the MMP9, and the LC9. Also, I do have, um, this is an MNP40C, so it's the uh, compact version, and this is actually, the, of all the ones on the table, I've had this one the longest, and I got a smoking deal, I paid less than $400 for it when it was on sale, and no external safety, um, again, you know, I'm a big fan of the uh, M&P line, uh, in, in addition to, uh, you know, Glocks. And I think that uh, Smith & Wesson is, you know, really uh, on par with the uh, with the Glock. And it does offer a couple of features that the Glock doesn't have. Uh, one of those is going to be, you know, you have a little tiny uh, Picatinny rail, whereas the, uh, you know, the Glock 43 obviously omits that as well as the MNP and the LC9. So, now this uh, mp 40 c would be a little bit more comparable with the uh, Glock 19. It is more compact than the Glock 19. But, let me uh, put it on top of the, uh, let me put the shield on top of the, the 40 just so you can see a uh, size comparison. So, 
it, not, not a huge difference. A little longer in the muzzle, and obviously, you know, the 40C is going to be a uh, double stack, so not as not not a big deal, but it's not going to be as comfortable as any of these uh, single uh, stack options. So, I mean, this is kind of the older style, and there's definitely been a trend recently going to, uh, you know, very compact uh, single stack nine millimeters, and I think they're great. I'm a huge fan. Um, I think you should pick, you know, no matter what option you choose, I think that uh, you should pick something that, you know, you're very comfortable with and that you're going to carry regularly. And, you know, for me, um, of all of these on the table, it's going to be the Glock 43. This is what I prefer. And now for, for my wife, uh, this is what she prefers, the uh, Ruger LC9S, which I, you know, she picked this one all up by herself and I was really impressed. I was like, wow, that's, that's, a, that's an excellent choice. You know, especially uh, someone with, she has no uh, real firearms knowledge whatsoever. And this was the option she went with, and I think it's excellent. It's a, you know, Ruger makes quality uh, firearms, and I don't think she could have picked one better. So I'm glad that she loves it. It fits her hand perfect, and I've really enjoyed shooting it. And she's super accurate uh, with this uh, 9mm. So, that said, however, this one's my favorite. You know, I like it for the simplicity and for a self-defense weapon. Uh, it's very simple. You know, I don't have to worry about um, any external safety. I feel comfortable, you know, carrying one in the chamber with a good quality holster. That's kind of the, the most important caveat. And, um, you know, the trigger on this guy, you know, typical for just about any other Glock I've shot, um, it's excellent. And I think this one actually is, is a little bit lighter than my, uh, my Glock 17. And uh, it, it just, it's just a really clean break, uh, nice reset, and it's very accurate. Uh, you know, last time I shot it, oh my goodness, I had put up some, uh, some clay pigeons you know, on the side of a mountain, and I just had some fun, and it was great. So, you know, highly recommend it. You know, if I had to pick one to, uh, you know, basically encourage you to go out and shoot at your local range, I would highly recommend Shoot this first, you know, and tell me what you think. Now, that said, I don't think you're going to go wrong with, uh, you know, any of the options from Smith & Wesson or uh, the LC9 from uh, Ruger. I think they're all great. It really just comes down to uh, personal preference. And if you need some nice holsters, now this one is a, a Concealment Express holster um, that I got from Amazon. And I like the Concealment Express. I do have a new uh, Concealment Express holster coming in for my MP40C um, to replace uh, this Blackhawk. Not a real fan of, of this Blackhawk holster. The, the, kip, the clip is not that great. And what I didn't realize was this one is a universal holster, so it fits the, the full size as well as the compact. But, you know, with the compact, it's kind of... You have this gap right here, and so I don't know. I don't like it. I'm gonna look at other options. And before you guys get worried, uh, just let you know that I've I had uh, safety checked all of these three times before doing this uh, review because I am doing this indoors. But uh, anyways, so if you guys have any questions, uh, hit me up. Um, that's pretty much. Uh, these are my favorite uh, concealed carry options currently. And I did have uh, one person ask me recently, um, you know, basically, how does the uh, Glock 43 compare uh, to like a J frame, a Smith and Wesson? And so I got my J frame out just to kind of show you the difference. Um, this is one of my my favorite uh, versions of the J frame because it has a uh, a shrouded hammer and just a super light trigger. I have another video on this guy. It's an excellent option, but you know you are limited to uh, five rounds of uh, 38 Special plus P. Now size-wise, uh, it's going to be very similar uh, to the Glock. And you can easily pocket carry these. Now I do have a sticky holster for the uh, J frame and. 
you just put it just like that in, in your pocket, in your back pocket, or if you have a large cargo front pocket. It fits really nicely, it's great. Now, which option is, is right for you? It comes down to a personal preference. Now, this is, you know, obviously an older design, uh, but, you know, I, I love revolvers, so uh, I'm always going to have them in my collection, and I feel comfortable carrying this. I think this is a, a good option, so it just kind of, you know, depends on your need and what you want. But, uh, but the cylinder does protrude a little bit more than the uh, the slide on the, on the Glock 43. So if you want, you know, true deep concealment uh, and, and a caliber that's definitely up to the task, I would say uh, nine millimeter. You know, you, you can't go wrong. It's a lot more powerful than a 380. It is it is more powerful than a 38 Special, even a 38 Special Plus P. And there are a lot of different uh, ballistics charts charts online. And I talked about some in some other videos. If, if you really want to get kind of down in the nitty gritty, I mean, either one will definitely get the job done. Uh, however, I think this is a, a, a lot of firepower in a, in a very tiny package. So, of all the options on the table, like I said, I will always go for the, uh, the Glock 43. So, if you have any questions, just hit me up in the uh, comments, and you guys have a great day. All right, thank you.